What is up everybody? Welcome back to another vlog with Tyler Palmer. Here we are in beautiful San Diego, California. We're in Carlsbad today. I'm gonna go see my buddy Cameron all the way up in LA. Gonna do like a day in LA. Little fitness vlog. We're gonna be out. We're gonna go to the beach. Woo! And then might get a gym session in. I'll tell you what, people in LA are, seem to always be in a hurry. I'm just trying to get a parking spot and nobody wants to move out of the way. If one thing that keeps me calm all the time is if it doesn't affect your pay, don't let it affect your day. So always stay positive and don't let one negative thing ruin your whole day. I'm gonna grab some Chipotle. Cameron actually just got Chipotle as well. Get it to go, and then I'll be back going to his place. A life hack, if you ever wanna get more bang for your buck, is ask for extra of whatever it is. Not double, but extra and you'll get more. Same thing by also getting a bowl instead of a burrito, if you wanna get a burrito. You get a lot more quantity in a bowl than a burrito, and you can ask for a tortilla on the side, and it's nearly double the amount of food in a bowl than a burrito for the same price. Also, I'm right here near Sepulveda and Washington Boulevard. The next street over is Tito's Taco Shop, and also right here is Johnny's Pastrami. My dad grew up in Culver City. Tito's was his favorite taco shop. It's also mine. I cheat whenever I come out here. I'll go ahead and grab some. Same with Johnny's Pastrami world famous pastrami it's like a $16 sandwich but it's worth it every time get some American cheese and pickles if you want head down to Cameron's he's there's the man Cameron throwing everything in the back gonna head on down to Venice Beach Venice boardwalk gonna get a nice tan let our food digest because we both just ate Chipotle then, once our food's done digesting, because it takes about two hours for carbohydrates to get in your system, then uh, get a little gym sesh. So, the people want to know, how did we meet? Do you know how we met? I had no idea. I think it was maybe through one of our buddies, Matt, back in where is it, high school. And, no, we met, did we meet at the gym? Probably, man, but you were like a little shit back then. What? <laughs> and, uh, so tiny. <laughs> I can't put that shit in the vlog. I can't put that in the vlog. Alright, so me and Cam made it down to the beach here, out in Venice, and this cop is just circling everybody right now. Have any of you guys ever experienced something like this? I haven't. What are your what are your thoughts on this matter here, Johnny? Johnny Bravo. That's okay. his nickname, in case you, in case you didn't know this is Johnny Bravo on the weekend. <laughs> out of uniform. About to go down. What is going on over here? We got a dance off going. <laughs> Where you at? It's all my people with the rope. I'm the undercover brother. Don't you hold in the trunk. I'm the same on the sass walls and the tear jokes. Yeah, I think I'm the one the 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 Yeah. <laughs> 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 
You've never been to Venice Beach, California, and you don't know what marijuana smells like? Just walk around down the boardwalk and they'll find it. You'll, now you'll find it, you'll smell it. It's, it's everywhere. I think she might have me beat with that camera. That's, that camera's pretty legit. Always think we're being rich and following your dream. They say it's just a little bitch. So what the fuck's a dream if you choose to just sit? And what the hell is life if you never take a rest of flying family in chips? Every time I'm out in Vegas, probably at the Mandalay. Smoking on Garcia Vegas. Jamaican and Haitian. Got the urban rotation. It's the rap game. We track the paper. Respect. Respect. Hustling on the pavement, but I made it up the hustle. Hustle. Right near the parking lot, there's a maze bowls. We decided to get SAE. Looks bomb. Up and close and personal. Hey, thank you. This looks delicious. Good day. All right. I need two hands to eat this. Good day. I got I got chocolate on here. I got bananas, blueberries, granola, acai. You can see it's it's windy. Still just loads of people just everywhere. Got a grip contest, you can pull on that pull-up bar. We got music. There's always tons of stuff going down here on Venice. Get fueled up before the gym. Hopping in Cameron's whip. And we're off to the gym. Woo! Woo! Let's go. All right. All right, here we are in the gym. I'm going to be warming up on the pulleys. This whole workout is just bicep and tricep focused. So I'm going to be trying to create as much blood flow as possible right now in the warm up. Not exerting a whole lot of strength, picking a weight that works. This whole workout we actually did in a total of 45 minutes because the gym was closing pretty soon on the weekend. With that being said, now I'm gonna be moving the pulley all the way up to the top, be flexing as hard as I can all the way at the bottom. I'm not using any momentum because that would be an improper way to lift. Flexing the very outside part of the arms, flaring out my hands, getting a great contraction. Now we've moved on to preacher curls. I'm using a 22 and a half pound dumbbell here on the flat, or vertical part of the preacher pad. As you can see, my armpits sitting right in there, not allowing me to use any momentum of my upper body to force this movement. Yes, it'll be harder, but that is a proper way to then work out your muscle and build a proper physique as I'm trying to do. Full squeeze all the way at the top and a full extension all the way down. I'm only getting about 10 reps here. Once again, trying to power through this workout. As you can see, my hand is directly in line with my bicep, my shoulder, my head, my shoulders, whole complete line, creating nice symmetry, flexing as hard as I can at the top with a smooth negative, creating, once again, mind-muscle connection, working the very outside part of the bicep, focusing as much as I can. I'm gonna go straight into an overhand tricep extension. Once again, still using the 22 and a half pound, 
working the very outside part of the tricep now. One great thing about doing single arm movements or single leg, depending on what exercise you're doing, you can find weaknesses. If you especially have a dominant side, you'll be able to figure that out by doing it with a single side in order to build your physique how you want, holding my core tight, finishing that up. Now we've moved straight into tricep push downs. Or some of you can also think of it like chest, but I'm really focusing on pushing with my triceps. My hands are really close in, taking my chest almost out of play. The very bottom, really flexing the outside part of my triceps. Slow negative up, constantly focusing on what muscle I'm trying to hit. If you notice, my hand placement is on the inside part of those grips, as well as those grips are all the way turned in. They are not opened up. So really becoming narrow. Once I've <clears throat> gone slow enough to where I feel a really heavy burn, I then just trying to burn out everything else. Like I said, this is a quick 45-minute workout we did this in. Put my hands close inside that barbell, and my arms are resting on my chest, if you will. They're resting in front of my body, which is then taking out my front delt, not allowing me to sway whatsoever creating maximum contraction in my biceps. With my arms in close, that's also going to work the outside part of my bicep to create a great pump, which is then having your cells inflamed, which is going to make you grow. Done with that, on to the next exercise. Here's Cameron. He's doing some close hand triangle push-ups. You can see his body is straight. I'm going to point to the outside part of his tricep there, which you can see flexing. That's a perfect push-up right there with his hands in close. Now, right before Cameron would have done his push-ups, he would have done hammer curls. Here I'm using 35-pound dumbbells with the dumbbells in front of my body, trying to keep all the swaying down to a minimum by doing, once again, single arm exercises you can focus on weaker points I am more right side dominant so I'm really focusing trying to build my left side of my body up to be proportioned to my right side very fatigued here flying through this 45 minute workout did four sets of everything right after the hammer curls in front of my body working the outside part of the bicep going for close ham triangle style push-ups, working the outside part of the arm, getting a full stretch all the way down properly to build the muscle, not doing any half reps. This is my very last set here. I'm getting pretty fatigued at this point. Once I'm starting to realize I can't go slow anymore, I'll then speed up my repetitions, and I'm going till failure. <laughs> Out of gas, Done with a workout, off to get some food. All right, so that just wrapped up our quick 45 minute workout. Even though LA Fitness closed at eight on weekends, still got a good pump, right? Sometimes, I mean, you, you have to switch everything up, keep the body confused. Sometimes like doing super long workouts, super high volume today was keeping extremely short rest periods, almost none, changing everything up. Once again, confusing the body. It's dark out. We're gonna head to Ralph's. Cameron's gonna pick up some food. So we picked up uncured turkey bacon. We got pork sausage, turkey breast, organic eggs. Always try and get everything organic so there's basically zero pesticides in it. You don't want that in your body, especially if you're really trying to take care of it. You might as well put the best stuff in it. And off to get veggies because you need that fiber. You've got to have a well-balanced diet. One of my favorite desserts right here, it's a three-in-one. You get your Tide Pods. Extra from my egg. This man likes peppers. I'm not really a big pepper person. Probably should be because it's healthy. In the, in the bag. Oh, we're dropping lettuce bombs. 
tip for always just for eating clean is, is shop on the outside of the store. Spinach, key, Popeye. That's where I learned that. That's why I always eat spinach, just because Popeye. <laughs> That's nothing. Place your item in the bagging area. Now skip bagging. We're getting 16 cent mushrooms here. <laughs> All right, that's gonna wrap up the vlog for today. We got the food. Gonna go home. I'm all the I'm all the way back in SD. So go go back to Cam's. Get my truck. Head home. And see y'all in another vlog. Tyler Palmer. Top priority, make yourself a top priority because you only get one life, right? Ain't that right, big dog? Yeah. All right, see ya. Have a great night, everyone.